I'm Pat Gum, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. So here you'll see I managed to hop myself up to a weird place in Diamond City Market, but today we're going to be returning to Nuka World and just settling in out there. So. do some fast travel. I'm hoping I'm still appro uh, appropriately equipped for Nuka World and that I'm not carrying too much stuff. I believe that if I have a companion it's probably still Ada. Let's see. Yes, it is Ada. We're gonna sw uh, swap her out for Gage. Word is super mutants just hit the place. They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy pickings. If there's anything left. How good is this source of yours? It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here, earn this. Anything else you find out? Shank, you'll be the first to know. So that's interesting. Um, it's neat to see the scripted interactions with NPCs. But you can see that there's some room for improvement in the Fallout world, and that what seems they like every time I fix one thing, another thing breaks. Is if you're wearing uh, a collar, it's because is you have the transfer of goods no actually involve uh, like a, uh, a handoff animation between two people that's where their hands actually touch. We gotta head on it. So let's see which. We'll see in a second which of the uh, which of the gangs is here. <clears throat> now, if you play your cards right in this, you can get all of the benefits. The operators are actually probably my favorite gang in the Fallout Ice uh, or in the world. You can go. Hey, well. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact Looks that like they actually someone have some pretty good armor finally too. gave him what he deserved. I want to know. What did uh -huh. you... Taking down an opponent like... Sure looked it. Hmm. Uh -huh. Regardless. I suppose we can only hope you work out. I'm Mags. This is my pleasure. Along with our co conspirator you'll come to understand soon enough that we are because we're the only ones who see this. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose. We only joined Gage, mm -hmm. though by somewhat more. Instead, Coulter had a sitting. And that means if you're going to. Mm -hmm. And that we're going to. Actually, I'm really great. Another nut, <laughs> William. <laughs> of course. So, you're and if you think you might be in, but do take a little. T Mags, if you're here looking to wreak a little havoc, I think I can provide. Up for some work. Your wish is my well then. Sure. There's a favor. Uh -huh. Apply this shot. Uh -huh. Who am I up against? Gunner contingent. I expect you. Of course. My kind of work. Good to hear. Okay, so I'm probably not going to do too much. Should be a couple odd jobs available. But uh, I guess going after other raiders. Mags, William, and Lizzie. Oh yeah. And I guess, in general, well, I just want to explain, so in, in this playthrough, I'm going to be playing this in a way where I'm going to try and get all the benefits out of Nuka World, until at some point when when I have drained it uh, you pretty far, then out, I will shift and, uh, and clean it out of Raiders. You will have noticed that I have not done anything with the, uh, um, fudge, I don't quite re remember the name of that faction. <laughs> this is the pack. <laughs> there are some, uh, oh, uh, some 
Send you my resume and references. Fuck so resume. Whatever. Go man. Mm -hmm. He's pacing. The pack's out. This here. Mm -hmm. You might be over boss. Long as you don't go. The pack? Ah. Look, it ain't like anyone. This one on this one. Sure. Gage says you're the boss. Right. You don't want to be me? Over boss? I have big. Maybe you're the one. But we thought Colter was the real. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. and things were good in the beginning. But that was a year ago. I'm listening. Sure, this place beats living. Ain't none of us happy. Things were going to hell. So, what? Ain't nothing, I ain't. I trust we're done with the history. Yeah, boss. Let's come. I hear you've been. Don't worry. Sure, fine. If you want to set your one last thing, always want to do around. Forever a year for these If you can take something, it's yours. And now we'll be going to my least favorite fact uh favorite uh, raider faction. Oh yeah, so I, I never did the thing with Preston Garvey, so his faction doesn't really exist in this game. Uh, so actually doing this Nuka World stuff doesn't involve really pissing off anybody in the Welcome Commonwealth. to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Okay, so... Reminds me there, that last one died. There is a use for provides a commanding view of that I haven't gotten yet that would be pretty useful that makes your AP bar fill up faster. <coughs> it's available in several levels. I probably should get it. So this is interesting. Uh, these guys... Watch yourself, The disciples, uh, they're basically we just downstairs from your central uh, hideout. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So, so these guys are what about you, not animalistic. Guy? They're Nothing kind of sophisticated, but extraordinary. As long as she doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new hey OB, there. Huh? So, I reckon you're here to talk you're to Gage's Gage's little pet She's in charge. And what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was, I would have slipped that. Gage will never be one of us. Everyone knows we all. But whatever. I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. Uh -huh. Otherwise, the way we see it. I bet you guys. Side with us, you'll soon find out. We got Coulter, Nuka Town. And suddenly. Although I could give him a little credit. Interesting. So we apparently the they were heavily control. involved in the initial. Of course, it was total shit place. at first. Hey. I thought it was good to see the new boss at least has some taste. Let's just hope he made a lot of promises, uh -huh. so you better not screw. <laughs> not questioned, right? We were wrong about Coulter. I'm the best that willing to bet you. Mm -hmm. You see, the decide we aren't swayed by. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. But if you support us, I'll think. Of course. Just remember then, when there's no shortage of- uh -huh. Okay. So we've met all three of the, uh, of the faction leaders. I mean, we've met 
the leaders of all three Come factions. Across any herbologist crazies? Just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Neat. Unknown stuff outside. So we're Make gonna sure you back don't up. leave anything useful behind. Not only did someone survive the gauntlet, but she took on Coulter and won. Hmm. I already hear people talk. Might be a little deceptive, or I'm, I at least don't remember if there's a way to get out of it. Here we go. The overboss yeah. returns. Yeah. You're back in one. Everything all pe- uh -huh. Sure, I hope you didn't- I mean, going a little over the top is part- All the gangs- I knew you. Sure. Time to roll up your sleeve. This place is huge. We need to take- You stake a claim. Mm -hmm. Who gets what? That'll be your call. Uh huh. I thought the whole point of having. Yeah, yeah, give it. So that's it. And hey, we're in this together. That sounds like a great. You're the overboss. Sweet. So, level. Ada back to Red Rocket. And we now have Porter Gage as our companion. So I'm a little bit weirded out by his eye patch thing. But since One way or another, still useful for all this guy. What's up, boss? More than happy to hold all the expensive stuff. I think when he's not your companion, he has a store that he runs. We going to get moving soon? the next level of sneak quite yet, and actually we might not need it. Some of the weapons perks might be worthwhile. And some of these crit boosts are quite nice. Let's see. Okay, our agility is not high enough to actually let us take action girl, so we're gonna start boosting it. We'll have to boost it one more level before we can start doing that, but... Okay. So we're gonna need to leave Nuka World proper to go to some of the surrounding parks, or at least to leave the central area. You must have pulled a few strings if someone like you is in charge now. Outside of these walls. Okay. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're doing it. Interesting. Well, so we can see that Nuka World is set in this kind of large uh, depression in the ground. You hear 
is one of the better um, and better armored companions that you can have. So you can imagine that manning this post was probably a pretty lonely gig uh, back before the war. Nothing really super nearby. But I guess people would drive up. <coughs> an interesting weapon, not probably one I would use because I don't do a lot of melee. But okay, so where am I? I um I think I'm going for the bottom of the right now. Yeah, it would would have been would be pretty amazing to see the pre war version of this place. I don't really remember doing so much in the way of amusement parks when I was younger, but I don't remember them being so open. Generally, you weren't seeing super far into the distance when you were at one of them. But then I was very young, and my memories might not be, uh, might not be that. Bad.
me. Sito hap yuki. Sito. Well. No. Sito. Monster. Of course. Sito hap uh -huh. new friend. Follow. Sito show you. Uh -huh. Okay, so unfortunately we got a message that uh, one of our settlements was under attack. So we're going to quickly pop back over there. But this will give us a, a chance to quickly turn some of this excess meat into uh, into stuff that we're willing to eat that won't irradiate us too bad. Okay, so we have to fast travel to Jamaica Plain. Interesting that we've already gotten an attack here, uh, but... Maybe we should boost the defense of this place up a little bit further. Okay, so where is the attack coming from? And store all of it. So one of the things, I have spiffed up Jamaica Plain considerably. I don't think I've shown this to you, you uh, yet. Or maybe I have. I added a another house on top of that one. And added a sky bridge to get there. And this is just kind of a nice anti-social uh, house. Maybe you can imagine like a weird technician type person looking up here who's not great with people. So, he or she would just have kind of a desk and a bed, and it would be kind of hard for me to get up here. And he or she would just like it that way. And while we're out here, let's... Or 
is annoying. Okay. I guess I'm gonna actually pop by Red Rocket then real quick to cook some of this meat. Baseball bat for now. I don't think I have anything else particular to drop off. I might have more grenades than I need. these things I don't know if they even have recipes for them. I guess they probably do. Interruptions of that sort. The downside is that even if you build super great defenses for your settlements, the way that it resolves combat if you're not there is some random number that has very little to do with how well you've built your defenses. So you can easily end up being screwed by the algorithms. Oh, did we not? Oh, fudge. We did not score any markers. Or from Kitty King Kingdom. Okay, well, at least there's that. We probably need to get some more map markers uh, out here. <coughs> Just to make it easier to travel around. And yes, my, my voice is not doing quite as well as it ordinarily is. Uh, I'm having a bit of a sinus thing going on. So we're going to head east this time see if that'll take us by any more map markers. There's another reason why we're not going immediately into this place, and that if you go and do another quest, uh, or if you go and find, rather, a certain thing out here, then it changes how a quest plays out, and I've never done that before, so I'd like to see what that's like. I know that that sounds awfully non-specific. Get what I mean later on, I think. Okay, so this is interesting. Looks like there are gunners going after a base out here. see a lot of stuff, but there's no great place to relax. It's just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, you maybe could see in a bunch of directions if you, you 
decide to uh, have multiple people facing those directions, but otherwise you're just kind of vulnerable out there. It's not... It's better than nothing, but it's still pretty shoddy. Okay, so now we have the, the map marker for... Oh, maybe not. I thought we had the map marker for this place. Attention. But instead All it just started to question for the Nuka-Cola drinking, drinking contest. Must turn in well, their identity we waivers record, so. before they will be allowed to participate. Uh, this hedge. Pretty annoying. So this is the bottling plant where they actually bo uh, bottled Nuka-Cola. Business to tell Bird how to fly, but they're definitely doing unorthodox flying. And they're setting a bad example for younger birds. And here you can see one of the roads that probably leads back to Boston, or at least to the interstate highway system that I'm guessing existed in this world of Fallout. see a familiar sight. It is yet another red rocket. And the fun thing about this place is that it is the one red rocket, it's the one standard settlement that, uh, that exists out here. Surprisingly managed to stay up. We gotta hear about this job. Why? What went down? So it's this easy kill job. I'm closing on the spot and boom! Huge explosion. Run over. Place is gone. Must have been one of those muties with the nukes. Still, job got done. <laughs> 
Just be glad you didn't show up early. Hey there. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs, well, dying is more their strong suit. Hey there. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. So the operators, again, they're, in my view, the coolest gang. Yeah, pretty much almost any time you fast travel to this red rocket, you'll find combat happening. Oh, so that's interesting. Apparently you can't settle here until Nuka World has power, and that is much later in the game. But I will keep on dumping off my unneeded stuff here, because... It's annoying to need to travel back to the Commonwealth. Okay, let's keep going. What else do we want on our map? Well, there's a town over here. Let's go check that out. Now, the lore for this place is that apparently, before the war, this was a place where a lot of Nuka World employees used to live. Which can make sense. It's very nice living not terribly far from where you work. I have that luxury right now of living just a few blocks and so every morning. I think this is supposed to be a reference to something, but I, I'm not quite sure what it is. Yeah, I have the luxury of every day that I wake up, I just have maybe four or five blocks to walk, and then there I am in uh, 23rd Street in Manhattan. Don't even need to take the subway. I'm not really sure if this was meant to be a place for employees. I'm not sure why they would want to get souvenirs unless they typically got jobs here because they were absolutely crazy about Nuka World, which maybe they were, but that seems a little far-fetched. I, I really, I don't think with most places people work. Uh, well, maybe this might be wrong. Maybe it's just me, but I find it weird when I'm working with somebody at a job and they're absolutely super crazy about the company. Bad move. Uh, uh, uh. 
But yeah, I just find it weird when you find people who are so much into the place that they're working that they get the can-do-no-wrong kind of attitude. Here is somebody by the name of Rachel. This ain't over. Who is I do this all day. Apparently a ghoul. You uh, a fan of antiques, Bob? I don't see anything. I think this is it. I can't go any further. I can feel it taking me. What I was looking for, because you later end up meeting this Oz, and I have heard that it changes the quest if you do so, but I haven't ever seen it yet because I always encountered Oz long before I found that tape. So it looks like we're seeing some. Anyhow. That area is completely overrun with feral ghouls. Over here it looks like we have a big dam. <coughs> looks like there is a map marker for this place, but it's probably not the most useful marker to have. Still, let's get it. And looks like there are some critters down there. been unwise, but these should be pretty interesting. We're getting some survey kits here, which is a little bit surprising. Definitely I'm surprised to be getting frame rate hits. But So you can see that the Meyer Lurks have taken taken a liking to this place, not surprisingly. Because they are all into, uh, into places with good access to water. And now we will start to head back south again. Again, this is 
is what the shape of the map looks like. If we just push ahead, we will make our way to... Well, let's see, what was it again? Safari Adventure. Wait, do we have to set on that? Maybe we do. Yeah, it looks like we do. Okay, we'll just fast travel right there, and then get the rest of the... It's not that amazing of the costume, really. Here is the galactic zone, which I think is the final zone that we probably need on our map. I guess maybe one reason to have this amount of space is that for people who really aren't into amusement parks, this would be kind of an interesting place to walk around. And that you could imagine, like... Grumpy people just being the sort that would be, you know, I'm just going to walk around the outside of this place and not really do the insides. And so if you have like a few grumpy people in a family, or just people who aren't in, in, into amusement parks, then they would do that and everybody else would go in and do the amusement park thing. Just uh, apparently, which I remember right, those are parodies of uh, Scientologists, which are one of the craziest uh, and most ridiculous uh, cults out there in the world right now, or at least that I'm aware of. They're pretty crazy. So I think at least to add some meat to this, I'm going to do at least this is this the right one? Uh, refreshment, Kitty Kingdom. Oh, it's the Safari Adventure. That's that's the one. I'm gonna do this one uh, in this video, and I'll I'll save the the rest for future videos.
so the frame rates are a little bit better now, but they're still not good. Yeah, I think maybe I'm gonna have to uh, put an end to this let's play for now. I mean, put an end to this episode for now while I figure out the frame rate thing. Because we're getting six frames a second, and that's awful. Uh, I will see you in a future video. Bye.